our bottles so guys you forget about things that you want to ask you can ask this is a simple piece of equipment the maintenance operation and everything with this thing is easy i see out there a lot of cheese that depending on boards uh, pneumatics uh, i mean electronic boards pneumatics plc's i mean 20,000 things to run. On this thing, basically, is um, PLC that drives everything. Software knows everything. And it's a simple system. Uh, this one here is our feeder. They call this one Alpha. Alpha. The one next to it, they call it Delta. It is our Iron Man. It's a precision series system. It's our uh, last, uh, I would say, the newest uh, system that we have. Uh, it's the precision series because it is we can process bigger uh, amount and with more precision. Like I said, we call this one alpha, it is a feeder, the one next to it is an, an iron, 32 uh, inches roll, single roll, uh, delta, and the one in the back, all the way in the back, is our uh, ship fold, the large piece fold. Uh, we call it a brown omega. Back. Yeah. Uh, with this one here, especially the first thing you want to know is how to start the system. We always recommend as the as the last system that you guys have, a steam on basically. You want to be at least on 250 or over 250. Or because to, to watch the machine. So you want to make sure with 250 you're gonna melt, you, you, you'll be able to melt your the wax. So basically, when you get in in the morning, the first thing the guys want to do, you guys want to know how you guys uh, have this set up here. Did you guys just start the, start the system or they do? They do. Oh, okay. So basically, yesterday I go over to them. Yeah, all together. I mean, you don't, guys. You don't want to do it. <laughs> they don't want to have anything to do with it. <laughs> yeah, it's not to do. All right. <laughs> that was good. Are you recording this? Yes. Okay, I want to sit up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll send you a copy. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, whenever, first thing you want to do, of course, your, your, your steam, open your steam. And uh, this machine, we always recommend to power down when you're done. It's, it's, it's not going to be running 24 hours. Why have that thing on? So, basically, what we do recommend, the main power for this line is on the iron here. This is our main power, and from there we send uh, the power to the feeder, the folder, and the folder send it to the uh, 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 stack. Just a small machine at the end. Uh, we recommend, when you power it down, we always recommend to use the main disc Because with this one you can do it, but you might, in a couple months you have to replace it. That thing is, you know, and most of the most of the places they don't really they don't really necessarily turn off power. But it depends how you guys run. If you guys want to turn it off, I would recommend this in the morning come in and power up. With that thing you can do it for a long time. This one I don't think. So basically the first thing you want to do is steam, power on here. Now I'm gonna stop all the system, we're gonna do the process as a start. Uh, to uh, stop the system, we're gonna go we want to go backwards now. So I don't want to go in, start, and then stop again. So basically, we're running now, we're done for today. They say, uh, they're supposed to do that, of course, but it's, it's good, I mean, you guys need to, do, need to know that. Basically, first thing you want to do, this is a synchronization uh, system. The alpha is the one to manage everything. When you change the formula on this one, then we change it on this one, and at the end. If now I go to this one or go to the Omega and try to ch make changes on the formulas, you can change settings inside the formulas. But if you want to change formulas, it will not allow you to do it. You have to come to the front and do it on the alpha. Why? For different reasons. You don't want to be uh, on sheets back there and on pillow cases here. Right. Of course you want to be synchronized. So this one now depends on the, of course you can change that. If for some reason your alpha uh, is down, you can move it and you can run with this one. You can put this one to the pen, I mean the whole system depends on this one. Okay. And take this one out of the system. Basically the first day, that's what that's how we did it. Can we remember that? 
we have some issues with the communication with this one. So we basically start running to calibrate the machine manually. Right. And so you can do that. Actually, for some reason, you have this down and you just want to fold. You can move this one down back there and you can fold uh, hand feet with, with this one. It's just change settings. We go over to the settings uh, later. So basically, uh, going back, to turn it off, what you want to do, if I go down there and turn off the Omega, the system will go down. Because again, we depend, all of them are working together. So basically, you want to come here, start, start, and start. And when you start, at the first day, we just turn the power, kill the power, and the system will go down, of course. But the next day, when you power it on, you might find some alarms on the inverters or things like that. So you want to stop the machine and then right. power it up. So basically, let's go to the Omega, which is our first. This is our uh, main screen of this one. That's the way it is. You'll be able there to see what formula you're running and the uh, speed that you're running. The uh, and the status of the machine, and if you have any type of alarms, you're gonna see the alarms there. Right. Now stop. Stop. When the ironer stop, the good thing about it, he has a setting that the roll, it will come up just to be off the chest, so we can uh, uh, save our, our pad. We wanna keep right. the pad for longer. So basically, you don't have to go manually and bring it up. And there's a setting there, if you wanna go, Higher, you, we can change that. Right now, we have to. We have it on, on time, two seconds. Whenever you start the machine, go so for two seconds and stop. So right now, if you see it's off the chest, yeah. it's off the chest and off, so we can. Uh, uh, it, it's safe there. So let's go back to the Omega. Like I said earlier, this machine here depends on this one. This one, we don't have any screen for this one to control. Any changes that, you, that we want to do on the settings of this one, it is inside the Omega. So now, when I start my system, this one automatically will go down. So now the whole system is stopped. Basically now we'll be able to, to kill the power. Let's go back there, kill the power and then start the system that we're supposed to start the motor. So we just power down the disconnect, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry. Do you have a special name for the stacker? The what? Do you have a special name for the stacker or just the stacker? They call that one large piece of stacker. Large LPS. piece? LPS, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't know why they would just yeah, alpha. Delta. Yeah. Why don't you just come up with something? Big yeah, man, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm Whiskey going back there now. Whiskey Whiskey box box yeah. That's a good point, man. Whiskey. Good point. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, it's just, if you see, it's running just like a regular computer. Um, that beeping is telling you that the system is starting. It's just safety reasons. Uh, now, it is the opposite. If I try to start this one here, you can see there it says start blocker from my Omega. Right now, to a start, we need the, the one of the BDN running. Why? Because let's say I start this one and I start finishing to it. If those are not running, I'm, I'm not basically Problem. not doing nothing. So, you wanna go back to the uh, to the Omega, and start the Omega. I need a volunteer so we don't have to go with that. All right. You know how, Brian? It's a button. <laughs> now, let's say I want to try to start this one here. He's got a cramp in his finger now. <laughs> I want to go to the outer screen. This is my main screen there. Outer screen to start automatically. If I hit start there, if he's down there, it will give me an alarm telling me Omega is not running or Folder is not running. So, now what he's doing is loading down the roll. It will let you know with a beeping that it's about to start for safety reasons. And whenever that one is running, we should be able to come back here and start this one. 
Now, as you see, if you see, we do have a, the start button available now. Before we used to have because this one was done. Start this one. So now the system is back up like it was before. Now, first thing the guys want to do in the mornings, of course, is wax. We always recommend waxing. What you want to do, you want to come here and change your uh, formula. You have two ways to do it. You can either go with the arrows, or if you remember the number, let's say number 10, I know for sure it's pillowcases. I go to pillowcases. If you don't load it, you will never take the formula. So basically, you want to hit load because the machine sometimes need to change uh, uh, positions. Like for example, if you're doing pillowcases, you need a feeding table there. You're not gonna use the clamps. So, right now, the wax will be the same thing. If I load my wax, make sure make sure everybody's clear, because it will, it will raise that table. It's my feeding table here. That beeping is telling you that it's moving now, so everybody's safe. And now, the clamps are disabled. Auto box. Clamps are disabled because this guy's off. So, when this is completely, basically what they want to do is just uh, watch, as they did it before. Send their watch to it. I recommend uh, Al and the guys. We have this for the pillowcases and napkins to help when we feed it. We can move this back for the waxing. If for some reason, because of the wax cloth, sometimes you want to stop it here to put your wax on it. If you have this on, you, not, you, you will not have room to do it. So basically, you, that's why you can move this manually. Uh, one of the guys mentioned to me the first day that he don't like that. Uh, the machine is being ordered like that. If you guys want to remove it, it's just two screws here. And if you don't want it, if you don't like it. That's up to you guys. I'm not supposed to be saying that, but <laughs> it's your machine. You we can edit that out want. later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so basically, like I say, it was a comment from one of the, one of the guys. I think it's better, actually, if you have that, it will work, uh, help it work. So now. So should they be waxing and scrubbing every day? Uh, now that the chest is brand new, we recommend, uh, he said they do. They did it before every two hours, I think. So I would recommend at least three times a day for now, until we build up a little bit of wax on the, cha on the chest. Whenever we, you're gonna start seeing the difference there on the folding. I was talking to them about it yesterday. You're gonna see some, uh, and it, 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 it's just because of the, uh, the, the, the machine is now waxed. So basically, we want to we want to do it now uh, a couple times. And then once it's once it's waxed, you got to get waxed. Then how, yeah. How often? I will do. May, depending, it depends on how you see your your results back there. Most of the places when it's a new machine like that and it has wax on it and it's running good, it has all the rims up. One once a day is good. But this one being a single roll, two times a day, I think is not a bad idea. Like in the morning when you start, and maybe when they take lunch break or something like that, when they come back from break, or I don't think it's a bad idea to run the box. So what's the result of a, 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 a product that it, the wax is not properly accumulated? Is it the ripple on the sheet? Yeah, the ripple that I showed you yesterday, yeah, that yeah. we were talking about. Okay. Basically it's this, it's, it's just a catching, it's going straight from the metal to the back. Okay. You want the wax to slide uh, uh, smooth, yeah. and because it's hot, it is. It is. Um, it should be if, if it has wax on it, hot. It will, you should be able to run your flat. your goods flat. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now we're going to the uh, what are you what you heard there is because we've been running and nothing is going through. The rolls automatically comes up. Same thing. Two seconds to make sure it's, it's off the chest. To so say now let's say I run something to it. I will hit my manually my my sensor and they will come down. Whenever something goes through the feed table, it will automatically go down again. So basically it's now it's ready to go. In uh, I think we have uh, 80 second settings. I'm not sure about it, I have to check that. Uh, if nothing goes through, it will come up again automatically. Okay, now 
what we want to do, let's go to the, when you guys have to replace the ribbons. Uh, basically, you have this here. We have to go to a maintenance setting there to bring that table down right. in order to service. For some reason, uh, there is a lot of places that they, they, the guys do it. But here, you have to go to a screen to do it because of this table. Right now, we have this pin here. You want to make sure you remove that pin. It's just for safety reasons, in case you lose your air pressure or something happens, you want to have that there just to, for safety. So basically, it is attached there. When you go to your test mode, you want to go to maintenance. Maintenance, you will advise that the device is clear because this machine is going to be in motion. Okay. And then, you want to hit low tape. Right now, I stopped there because something right. happened here. Because what I tell you earlier, that machine depends on the on, on this one here. Now it says remote speed reference because this one stopped. This one automatically will stop. So basically, what you want when you gonna do something where you wanna to replace your ribbons, you wanna stop this one. Of course, you wanna do it with machine stop. So basically. You have your line, whatever you have your line, you wanna go hit acknowledge. Now if I start the machine again, it will give me the alarm because this one is not running. Right. So this one needs to be stopped. I wanna come back here, open my system. This is something Robbie mentioned to you and you might wanna come up with something. This is something that I hate it. It needs to be like that. I mean, let's just start crying. I don't know all the functions on it. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is nice. So, that's, I always recommend, because you don't know if somebody come here and hit it, I will get out of that screen. Who knows? So basically, what you want to do for the rhythm, come on. We have two ways to do it.